to go. I love a little spoon. Why? Because, I don't know, it just feels fancier. It makes me feel like a giant. We just had three cheesecakes in one day. Mmm. It's amazingly fluffy. And rich. How's that possible? The fun doesn't stop yet. It never stops. We are going to go on three different secret menu item adventures at three drastically different price points to find out which one is the most worth it at its price. We're doing secret menu items, items that we heard about from word of mouth. You're gonna feel like a secret agent? Mmm, yeah. International man of mystery? Stephen Lim. I would want to be James Bond's nemesis. I want my own volcano. The first place we're going to is a little shop named Shake Shack. I've been there. Yeah, me too. But I have never had their secret menu item. Peanut butter bacon burger. Does it sound gross to you? Maybe. Sometimes secrets sound too crazy or too good or too weird to be true. Mm hmm That's what makes them great. Let's go. Uh, uh, oh, God. nailed it. Hey guys, I'm Mark Rosati, the culinary director of Shake Shack, and we're here right now in New York City talking about a very cool burger that's kind of a fan favorite secret item. It's a peanut butter bacon burger. I'm not sure I've heard of that combination before. <laughs> in Missouri, there was a place called the Wheel Inn, and they opened up with an iconic burger called the Goober Burger. It was a hamburger with peanut butter sauce, lettuce, and tomato. But what I wanted to do was do a version that kind of had some other flavor components. We did it for one day on a weekend on a Saturday, we sold 30. That next Saturday, we sold 300. And ever since then, it's never gone back on the menu, but you can ask for a plain burger with bacon, and that is ground fresh daily. It's seared on our grill with salt and pepper, so it gets a nice crust on it. The juices are locked inside. And we'll give you a side of peanut butter sauce, so you can marry those two worlds together yourself at the table. We've had some guests that'll actually add pickles to it too, which I think works. Ooh, I'm definitely going pickles. <laughs> this is it. This is exciting. We knew about this secret menu item. We didn't know about this secret menu item, which is a Andy. It's their house lemonade and their beer that Brooklyn Brewing Company beers, uh, they brew it for them. They beer it for them? They're already drunk. Very refreshing. Shantacular. Peanut sauce is my jam, literally and figuratively. So in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's just peanut butter and peanut butter? Exactly. That's the consistency that I want right there. Nice and goopy, gooey. Oh! I gotta use that too. Okay, 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 okay. Peanut sauce flowing like a river, streaming like a Netflix. You need to enunciate peanut sauce a little bit better for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it, okay? Let's do it. Donk. Mmm. Mmm. You're definitely gonna need to wash this down with something. I think we should have got glasses of milk, actually. A little known fact about me, my family's Chinese, but they're actually from Malaysia. A very classic dish is like satay with peanut sauce. That's just that. Beef, peanut sauce, plus in an American burger. Like, this is me in a dish. I'm gonna try this with a pickle. Cheers again. Mmm. Man. Oh, that is... The winner. I'm not saying I've ever been pregnant, but if you're pregnant right now <laughs> and are having some weird cravings, I highly recommend peanut butter and pickles yes. on it. You get the little bit of vinegar to cut through the thickness of the peanut butter. It's crisp and light. Am I really enjoying this right now? I am really enjoying this right now. It just matches your sweater. So. All right, we just had that Shake Shack burger. Actually, it wasn't as crazy as I thought it would be. I was hoping it would be good, and it was good. <laughs> secret menu fat. The echoes here in New York. It's a secret, so you should whisper it. Secret menu fat. Starbucks employees claim that there's no such thing as a secret menu. People just like kind of make that stuff up and just assign names to it. However, they are willing to do pretty much anything for you on a drink. It's not really a secret menu. It's just letting people do whatever they want, which is... Which is where secret menus come from how society crumbles. We're actually going to have another burger now at a place called Gramercy Tavern. I love New York. Look at this city. Look at this. You love it now because it hasn't, city of dreams. hasn't crushed your soul yet. My name is Rafiq Salim. We're at Gramercy Tavern. I'm gonna cook a burger for you today. We have a off-menu bacon burger. We make 40 a day, 20 for lunch, 20 for dinner. When we run out, we're out. So why does the burger exist? One, it's really, really delicious. Two, we decided to bring in half cows so that we can utilize all the parts of the cow, which kind of forced us to be creative. Yes, we have 
the ribeye, the filet, all the other trim, we grind into our burger special. We are 100% not going out and buying yeah. ground beef. That's what differentiates our burger from other burgers. So we have a full butchery team downstairs. Andrew grinds the meat, we grind fresh every single day. Then he forms the patties, the bacon for the burger. It's cured with a sugar salt solution, and then it gets smoked. The burger gets grilled to order on a wood fire grill. It is quite special, the flavor that that grill imparts on the burger. They make the buns fresh every single morning. The bun gets lightly toasted. It's not only is the bacon like smoked and delicious and house made, we also grill it to order. We melt the cheese in these little cast iron skillets and kind of pour it sauce the burger in a way with the cheese. We do serve it with butter lettuce, red onion, and uh, pickled Fresno chilies, and then top it with the bacon, put it on the bun, that's it, then we serve it. First we had a Shake Shack burger that was so popular the day it was released that they made it into a secret menu item. Now we've gotten into the practical secret menu item because of the other things that they don't want to waste but turn into this beautiful thing. Should we try this cider? I feel like you're a cider guy. Yeah, that's what I drank growing up. Five-year-old Steven here, just add some alcohol and we're good to go. I'm kind of sad that we're not sharing the burger, but. I'm not. Oh my God, this bun. First time I tried to pick up the. It's like a marshmallow. This is like what McDonald's burgers look like in the commercial, but never in real life. Are you like making the sign of the cross there? You know when a food is so good that your legs start shaking? Mm -hmm. My leg is like quivering right now. The taste of the patty is prominent. There is like a deeper flavor of meat happening here. This food has a soul, a smoky soul. The flavor of the wood just like not only imparted itself in the food, it's like living in the food. The burger falls in place as part of a process and to put it on the menu would ruin it. And that's what I love about it. It's a practical, secret menu burger. I mean, I'm excited about this burger. Okay, that's when we gotta leave, because when the bad puns come, we gotta get out of here. All puns are great. Come on over, come on over, Adam Bianchi. You wanna keep that? Cookie me. Got a little bag of cookies from the tavern. Whoa. <laughs> great burgers and great pastries, what? Give me one word, one word to describe that burger. Ah, that's it, you get a sound effect. Secret menu pack, secret pack. So the reason why people love secret menu items has been studied a lot. One theory is that people like the idea of feeling exclusive for a relatively inexpensive price. You usually huh. get to pay to play, but with secret menus, you just gotta know to play. I like being in on a secret. Wanna hear a secret about me? I secretly watch Asian dramas. I knew that about you. You like going to do I really that? hate vlogging Steven. I Why? hate that you're in control of the camera. Here, take it. Going to a place that specializes in caviar called Petrosian. We say this all the time, but this is gonna be the most money that we've ever spent on the show, and the most money we're gonna spend on season two. Secret number three. My name is Richard Farnham. I'm the executive chef at Petrosian Restaurant, and today you are going to try the caviar souffle. This dish is your creation, is that correct? Yes, 100%. was a little story with Alexander the owner. We talked to make expensive dish for breakfast, mm. and instead we talk about making omelette, to make scrambled eggs. As making souffle, say, oh, why not put caviar in it? So we put caviar and say, why not putting the most expensive caviar to taste the souffle so it will taste better? And we say, wow, that tastes very good. Why well, we not smoke the, the dish? So we smoke the dish with apple smoke. It takes us approximately like months, months and a half to get to the whole process, but we're on top yeah. of it now. It's off menu? It's off the menu. Guinness book just came over and said, we heard about your souffle. I said, oh, how do you hear about your souffle? I said, we just heard about your souffle. The secret's going and around. The secret's going around, yes. yeah. Guinness record for what? The most expensive souffle on earth. We didn't know it's going to be the most expensive. We just designed to taste good. Get the base of the souffle with the aged quail eggs. We put in the oven, we put in the oven. You are going to have caviar inside this egg white cloud. I'm using the most expensive caviar, Royal Ocetra. It's nice, mild, beautiful gold color. Wow. That's going to be the souffle. And and you have a decoration on top of that, edible gold leaf. It's going to be smoked while we after that with applewood smoke. I'm using a 200 years old vintage cognac and we are going to flambe table side. So how much is the souffle? $2,500. Perfect. Let's do this. And I recommend I spoon. love that. Go with your spoon. It's just don't be picky. Just go for it. Should we, yeah, let's, let's just, just drink first. Real quick. Champagne. Cheers. You okay there? 
No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. It's so tiny. I'm not waiting for you. Go, go, please. Ooh. Yeah. Visually, it's kind of like a mini cheesecake with blackberry jam. Yes, yes. Cheers. Boom. That's quite amazing. That's how caviar should be. Wow. Whole. Oh. Got the creamy egg at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You've got this buzz of that cognac floating up there. Kind of getting like some pastry vibes from it. This toast plate is quite nice. Can I wait for me? Or are you gonna go? No. It's smooth like butter, but it still has that ocean saltiness washing over you. Caviar can be daunting for somebody to eat. This is a caviar that anybody can enjoy. You okay there? I just burped and relived it again. And, and you know, that was like the greatest burp of my life. Isn't it crazy that this thing is plated in gold and that's not the star of the dish? I mean, you see it's like, oh my God, it's gold. But you open it up and it's... There's the gold. Then you've struck gold. It's like cracking open a fresh oyster, but the shell is made of a cloud. Like, I don't want to finish it. Too, no, 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 no. Right? No. Oh, wait, do we need to save some of this for Adam? No. Okay. Yes. I'll save sure. him the toast. Guys, there's a banana in my pocket. Anywho, we've eaten some kind of pricey crap on this show. This takes the cake, though. It takes the souffle. We just had three different secret menu items. Slash off menu items. Which dish was the most worth it to you? I'll go first. So Shake Shack. It's like one of those things that should be on the secret menu because somebody sees it, they're just like, what are you doing Shake Shack? But then if you order it, you're like, oh, I know what I was doing and you were doing Shake Shack. My worth the winner, barely, 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 I'm going with Grand Mercy Tavern. Oh my God. Best burger I've had in New York yet. Did I feel like I was part of a secret organization that runs the whole world eating that souffle. Kind of. Probably the most unique single bite I've ever had. Is it something I'm gonna be craving all the time? I just don't have a caviar tooth. I'm more of a burger tooth. Gramercy Tavern, worth it winner. You're getting a $29 burger dish. Is that expensive for a burger? Yeah, it is. Is it the best burger I've ever tasted? I think so. Adam? Whoa! Worth a toi. Stop. That's it's a, a triple worth it winner. Three Trip. way. No, what am I saying? <laughs> no! New York City. Ow. It's been nice. A small utensil is just aesthetically more pleasing in every way. It makes me feel like the food is lasting longer because I can only load so much up on each spoon. I'm not sure I agree with that. Oh, yes!